Whitey Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Hinamaru Zumo chapters 209 and 210. So before I get to the recap and the actual live reaction, I gotta um, address uh, something that that's really bothering me and this is in regards to the um, anime adaptation of Hinamaru Zumo. So if you have not watched the anime adaptation of Hinamaru Zumo, don't watch it it is bad and for those manga readers that are telling you that it's good i'm sorry they are incorrect i don't give a fuck what you tell me they are wrong um especially since in episode one and you guys could watch my uh live reaction for episode one of the anime uh they skipped a ton of content and also they censored a lot of content to boot and they completely changed the lore from uh, chapter one of the manga and it really frustrated the hell out of me. But um, something that I saw on Twitter and I was hoping it was just a rumor, but based on uh, the synopsis of episode two, I, I really don't think it's a rumor. So the rumor that I saw on Twitter, and this was about at least a week ago, was that Studio Gonzo was going to be adapting 170 chapters in 24 episodes. And I was really hoping it wasn't gonna be true. I really was hoping that Gonzo was not gonna pull a Studio Periot, a Tokyo Ghoul Re. I really hope was hoping that that wasn't going to be the case, but based on the synopsis for um, episode two of Hinamaru Zumo that I saw on the official website, it looks like they are going to be adapting at least chapters uh, two through 15 of the manga. And a couple of things are gonna happen in regards to the anime live reactions for Hinamar Zumo. One, I'm going to attempt to record a live reaction for it and either I'm going to rage drop it because I'm not gonna be able to get through it or I'm going to actually be able to get through it and it's just gonna be my final live reaction for it. it this is, It's not worth it, I'm sorry. I, I've, uh, and the animation, is, I'm sorry, the animation is bad. I've um, rage dropped series like Piano No Mori because they, uh, what the studio for Piano No Mori decided to do was adapt over, I think it was over 241 chapters, something like that, in 20, and originally it was gonna be 12 episodes, and now it's 24 um, episodes, and they censored a ton of shit, and the animation is like a million times better than what Gonzo's giving you in uh, Hinamaru Zumo. So I just wanna give you, uh, Manga Nerdigans, the warning uh, to, if, to stay the hell away from the Hinamaru Zumo anime adaptation. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. That anime is bad. But anyway, um, last time I covered Hinamaru Zumo, oh my freaking god. So, uh, so we're fighting, um, uh, Chihiro's brother, which is just getting really, really freaking good. And, uh, what happened is uh, Hinamaru is struggling because he's thinking about how he's going to beat Dahanya. And he realized, oh shit, I can't think about it. Because if I'm fight fighting Dahanya, I got to think, uh, think of it as uh, fighting Chihiro. And what he decided to do is uh, said, he said, I got to uh, fight like an idiot or fight on instincts. And at the end of the chapter though, woo, the demon wheel is coming back. And I just, oh, because um, the reason why Hinamaru was hesitating on using using the demon wheel um, was because of, you know, the injury. He was having a little bit of the yips, but because Hinamaru is fighting on instincts now and becoming an idiot, so to speak, he can actually use it. So let's get to chapter 209 and see this shit. I have been waiting for this. This is gonna be awesome. The demon wheel I unleashed on instinct failed. Then is it really okay? Should I be believing in myself? Believe in yourself. Within you still lies a reserve of strength not yet tapped into. I'm in uh, deep underneath my opponent's chest. That's right. I know, I, I know the way to fight from this position. Someone who found themselves trying to overcome the same hurdle, but who chose a different path uh, to me. You're unsightly. The king among those with small bodies. You and your clumsy Yokozuna mimicking sumo. I won't abandon it even in death. 
He can't be serious. That move, that sumo that dives underneath one's opponent. <laughs> that bastard. Ah, there's Shun. Oh, my God. We haven't seen Shun in forever. Um, Karia Shun, 19, HIT, Iga University sumo, cl sumo Club Manager. Oh, my God. Oh, leg, inside leg from Dragon Tail Riku. Oh, my God. So, I got to correct myself here. I thought we were doing a demon wheel, but it turned out the demon wheel failed. So, I'm sorry. I got to correct myself. But, man, look at this shit. The Dragon Tail Reaping looks so cool. And it sucks that it's going to... Oh, Gonzo. I, oh, I believed in you, Gonzo. I believed in you when you failed me. Um... That was a path Hinomaru had chosen not to follow. A path, uh, the small taken, uh, wait, a path the small taken in order to survive. Oh my god! Ha! That all you got? I'm not done yet! Grip. Hey, freaking Masato, it loosened! His light gloss loosened! His light gloss loose! Oh my god! We won't be changing the angle, just the method. Believe, believe in the strength that resides within me. Even if I can't use the demon wheel, I decided that I would reach greater heights. Believe, this is the current me. Oh, here it is! Hooking inner thigh throw demon wheel fire dragon! Oh my god! I'm glad you were my opponent today, uh, Dahanya Zeki. I feel like getting caught up in your pace. Um, sorry, I feel like getting caught up in your pace has allowed me to enjoy Suma for the first time in a while! Oh my god, I totally understand why. It's because Hinomaru's not overthinking it. He's not overthinking his strategy. He's just fighting based on instincts. He's fighting for the fun of it. Oh, this is amazing. Hell yeah, Hinomaru won! Oh my god, this chapter is awesome! Um, who are they? Do they know Hinomaru? <laughs> That's crazy. They're so ecstatic. You think uh, he just won the championship. Damn straight! There was, uh, there were still some sticky situations here and there, I'd say, but still, he took down, um, Arodenta and make us look bad if he was truly out of the game this early on. Shit! Having my line cloth, um, loo uh, line cloth loose actually ended up getting me caught in an odd situation. Ah, damn it! It was just as you said! Fighting him is insanely fun, Mika! Isn't it just? Yes! Western dressing room. I thought the reason you sent Suji uh, to give him a massage was uh, because you couldn't deal with him being around us worrying like he was. But I was wrong. I know at the very least that you don't intend for there to be a deciding match for the championship in, in the first place, do you, uh, Dojizeki? I'd say Onimaru's performance today was about a 70. You could do much better than that, can't you, Onimaru? Yes! I'll defeat him at his best at 120%, and I'll win this tournament with the perfect record! Oh, wow. Onimaru Zeki actually... Oh, my God, I can't wait for that match. Um, Onimaru Zeki actually won. That's cool. And this is in the Eastern dressing room. Uh, Vitality Water. Uh, the winner of the previous bout will stay uh, by, the, uh, by the ring and pass water to the wrestlers of the following bout. You finally met uh, you finally met my gaze, Onizeki. Say Saison. Yeah, starting today, it's a team effort. Today it's finally begun, my September tournament. I still have to get much, much stronger. Guys, Reina, it's alright. I can finally get stronger. Keep watching me, I'll get much stronger than I am today. There's Reina Life. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so happy. Because I'll be having fun! And chapter 209 is titled Signaling uh, the Counterattack. Alright, there's still a number of exciting matches. Um, uh, sorry. Alright, there's still um, a number of exciting matchups remaining for this fourth day. Onimaru is back! Time to counterattack! Oh god, Kawada! Thank you for this chapter! Oh my god, Kawada, this chapter was. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kawada! Oh my god, we do, we do not deserve you! Oh my god, Kawada, your work does not deserve this. I, Kawada, I don't know if you were working on the writing for this anime, because I know um, the, uh, when I was at uh, Crunchyroll Expo, um, there was, we, there was a uh, panel um, about, um, about how the uh, anime industry kind of works, including like manga and anime adaptations, and the person that, uh, from Studio Mappa that was talking about it, was saying that usually the Magaka work with the studios, and I do not know if Kawada is working with Gonzo. I, I, from, but from what I'm seeing, Kawada ain't working with Gonzo. 
I'm sorry, Kawada, I am sorry that Gonzo was murdering your series. I really am, because th this ch oh my god, Kawada, your series does not deserve the treatment that Gonzo is giving it. I, I will say this, though, in regards to the anime. The only thing that I'm liking about the anime right now is the voice acting. That's the only thing good about this anime. But anyway, let's get to chapter 210. Uh, begin! And chapter 210 is titled Heart's Content. And he's pulled to the ground. The best head um, charges in the league were nullified by um, Odegin's, uh, Odegin's resilience. Odegin keeps his flawless record while uh, Yamadago sustains his third loss. Oh my god, there's um, Momo Momonohana ver uh, you know, versus Juzumaru. And then um, Obadaku, uh, it looks like he beat, uh, or, yeah, Obadaku uh, got beaten by um, King King Kaizan and uh, and Juzumaro beat uh, Momono Hana. Uh, Okabuto receives his fourth loss, failing to grasp his first victory. It is a feed, feeding frenzy, I suppose. It's not physically possible for everyone to come out with a winning record after 15 days of fighting. Someone's always going to wind up uh, with the short end of the stick. This is the upper ring, so everyone's here because they're capable. The big determiner um, is whether or not they can ride the momentum. And speaking of momentum, these two are performing uh, particularly well in that regard. The winner of this bout will um, uh, likely end up as one of the final competitors for the championship. And Western Ozeki, Dojikiri, three wins, zero losses. My boy, Dojikiri is, is undefeated right now. Foo. All right, this is uh, one of the most decisive bouts of the tournament. No! Just what kind of face uh, am I making right now? Oh my god! Oh, this match is gonna be great! So we got Doja Kiri versus Mikazuki right now! Oh my god! So Mikazuki is the second seat of the Western uh, Megashira, and he's undefeated too. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing! Oh, Kawada, we do not deserve this greatness right now! Oh my god, we do not deserve this greatness! The chief of preliminary inner high team division finals two years ago. Uh, Sada Mizuki, 18, third year. Don't cry, Jen. Captain uh, Kanamori and um, Mamma Mia, don't cry in front of the, their juniors when it was their time. The winner is of Dachi High School. Yes, and there it is! My boy, K. And by the way, those motherfuckers at Gonzo said that, um, that uh, Hinamaru wasn't uh, originally looking forward to going to uh, Odachi. That is some bullshit! Gonzo, I don't, uh, fuck you guys for writing that, I don't know, and again, I don't know if Kawada agreed to that shit, but it, uh, but more than likely, Kawada did not agree to that shit, so fuck you, Gonzo, if they, if, if you, if, uh, any of you guys can prove me wrong, please tell me in the comment section, because that really made me mad, by the way, um, the Ishigami High School, uh, Sumo Club made it into the top eight at the previous year's nationals, this year, they were eliminated in the prefectural preliminaries, I know that's what I said, but man, it really does suck. I'm on the verge of tears. <laughs> What's wrong with crying, Captain Sada? We were watching. Honestly, I was I was worried at first, but I believed you seemed to um to have become a respectable captain. There's still the individual division uh, left. Take a break while you can. <laughs> Sonata, Mamma Mia, Captain Katamori. It's impossible. Being a uh, captain is too much. You need to take over for me, Captain. Devote all your efforts to the Ishii High Sumo Club for your remaining two years. Looks like you're, um, looks like you've stuck true to that. It was something I said um, to stop you quitting sumo altogether back then. But because of that, I ended up tying you down to Ishii High. That was my bad. You're deserving of a much, uh, of a much larger stage. He's right. We held you back in the team division, but you're invincible, Captain Sada. Um, Araki's uh, the only one in, in, sorry, Araki's the only one in the club who could even put up a fight against you after all. Surely uh, you're not satisfied with being stuck with us. You really look, you really look like you were enjoying yourself when we went to uh, Minagawa Stable for practice. You're going pro, right? You have to, uh, Captain, Captain Sada. What are you saying? As if you guys are lacking. These three years I've spent in the Ishi, um, Ishihai Sumo Club have been the funnest time ever. Going pro, huh? Not long ago, I wouldn't have, be I wouldn't even have considered it. If I'm being completely honest, this final year has been somewhat lacking, I guess. All the guys I want to fight have gone pro. Feels like I'm the only one who was, uh, uh, feels like I'm the only one who was left behind. But to make, um, but my wish to make the Ishii High Sumo Club the best in Japan was the real deal. This sumo club made me stronger. Following that, I dominated the individual uh, division and qualified for for the nationals, where I became the high school Yokozuna. I'm going there too, so just you wait, uh, Tenoji Odena. And it was only the month following that 
where you were injured and disappeared from the ranks of uh, Makuchi. The referee raised his fan uh, to Dojikiri, seeing um, Mikazuki hit the ground first, but the result of the dispute council is that both wrestlers hit the ground at the same time, hence a rematch will be held. Whoa! Whoa! So there's a rematch! Oh my god! Whoa! Son is insane! He managed that against um, Tenoji? Fu, it's, it's been on my mind since the training camp that I'd have um, have to be on my toes this tournament. To think he's the same brat from back then, who was broken and put in his place after just a single defeat. So you've grown this much, Mikazuki. Look at the autumn moon calming breeze. I've been waiting here for you, believing that you would come back. However, it wasn't a different, um, sorry. However, it wasn't um, a difficult wait in the slice because here in the Mikuchi upper ranks, um, what was it? Uh, I get to enjoy myself to my heart's content. Begin. Ooh, I have to go fast, uh, faster. I have to go faster. A true death match. Self gr um, grip pulling overarm throw. Two moves. Ooh, is he for real? His foot is uh, tracing the left. Um, his, his foot is tracing the track I left behind. Shit, it doesn't disappoint. Sumo really is a blast. <laughs> You're right, Sada. Amongst this battlefield of monsters. It'd be a waste not to enjoy it. Um, there are no doubts this time as uh, Mikazuki is cl clearly pushed out of the ring. The winner of this rematch between two wrestlers with pre previously flawless records is Dojikiri. I'm actually, you know what? I'm not surprised Dojikiri won. I'm looking forward to facing you guys in the ring as fellow uh, Mikuchi wrestlers from here on out. But what about you, um, Kuzi Sasuke? Ushio, I refuse to acknowledge you as you are now. Watch me. I am not like you! Woo! Second seed of Eastern uh, Makashira, um, Okunahira, um, three wins, zero losses. Eastern Ozeki, uh, Kusanagi, two wins, one loss. Go have at him. Next issue, we, we, we collide with the Lee color page. Woo! Okay, so these chapters here, man. Man. Oh, man. This, this tournament is getting lit. This tournament is awesome. And would I say this tournament... I would say this about this tournament because um, right now I'm reading... Uh, or I should say not reading. I'm covering um, a couple of tournament series. Um, uh, well, I'm going to stick to comparing it to the high school tournament um, series that I'm covering. Uh, mainly, I'm mainly going to just compare it to... Uh, to Haikyuu more than like Chirith, um, to, uh, what's the other series? To, um, oh, what's the other ones I'm reading? That's, uh, Chihaya, uh, Furu and, um, well, there's Ch Chihaya, Furu, uh, and, um, hold on, there's another one I know I'm covering. Hold on a second. It's gonna bug me if I don't mention it. And um, here it is. And um, Nami Kizakari. And yeah, I'm covering Nanamaru Simbatsu, but um, there hasn't been a new chapter of that in a while. And yeah, I could compare it to uh, New uh, Prince of Tennis. And there should be another. Well, New Prince of Tennis is more middle school more than uh, than high school. Is there another one I'm thinking of that I can compare this to? Uh, no. Okay, so the main thing, the main thing I'm going to really compare this to, well, I could compare it to Ao no, um, uh, no Sora, but I haven't really covered it on this channel, so um, I could be, I'm waiting for a new chapter before I can really cover it. So I'm going to mainly compare um, the tournament, uh, the um, Hinamaru Zumo, well, well, since it is professional, I could kind of compare it to um, Giant Killing and uh, Captain Tsubasa, and, I, and you know what, I'm going to compare it to Haikyuu as well, even though Haikyuu is high school and this is more professional now. Um, well, as good as Hinamaru Zumo is, and I'm loving the tournament for Hinamaru Zumo, I still gotta say that Haikyuu is just a little bit better. Um, the reason being is that, it, and like, it's not by much either. Hinamaru Zumo is getting up there with, uh, with Faradade's, um, or I should say this, Kawada's writing is getting up there with Faradade. Um, and I will say this, Hinamaru Zumo is definitely better than Hajimato Ippo. Hands down. Hinamaru Zumo has definitely surpassed Hajimato Ippo, especially currently. Uh, at least for me. But, um, it's not up there, it's, 
definitely not up there with uh, Ferdotti's writing. It's getting there. It's close, but it ain't up there with Ferdo with what Ferdotti is currently doing with Haiku. The reason why is Haiku is like uh, right now what Haiku is doing is just so incredible. Like it's just hard to compare it. But with I will say this, I will say that what Hinamaru uh, what Kawada is doing with Hinamaru Zumo is definitely better than um than Captain Tsubasa Rising Sun. I will I won't say it's by well I will say it's by a little bit uh, but not by much but I will say it, it it's definitely a little bit better than Captain Tsubasa uh, Rising Sun even though Rising Sun is just insane but Hinamaru Zumo I will say is definitely better than Rising Sun but um, I won't say it's better than um, since I gotta compare you know fighting mangas I won't say it's better than Kengen Ashura Kengen what Kengen Ashura is doing right now is just freaking insane there's I cannot compare it to Kengen Ashura. And I, if you want to read a really intense tournament series, go read Kengen Ashra. But yeah, compared to Hajime no Ippo, Kawhi has definitely surpassed that. Um, but like, if we're just talking like sports series in general, I would say the best sports series that I am definitely covering on this channel would definitely have to be, um, and I'm including like middle school, high school, and all that, and professional. I would definitely have to say Haikyuu is just is better right now. I really do. Um, Furudate is writing right now, and uh, on top of the art that we're getting from Furudate is just insane. Uh, but Hinamaru, what Kawada is doing right now, I am digging it. I love what Kawada is doing, and it's just a goddamn shame that Gonzo is just is just uh, Gonzo's art is just terrible compared to what Kawada's art is, and it, the writing is just fucking horrible. And real, it makes me really sad. But at least the voice acting's on point. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys uh, think of these um, two chapters? I know you guys are probably going to thumbs me down for saying that um, that Haikyuu and uh, and like and uh, what's the other? and Kengen Ashura are better than um, than Hinamaru Zumo. But fuck, I'm sorry. I got to be real on this. But uh, these chapters. But it's not. But uh, but well, Kengen Ashura is a whole different animal. But like, but again, it's definitely better than what Hajime no Ippo has given me. Uh, it, uh, Hajime no Ippo right now is just really pissing me off. Um, but Kawada, I'm really digging what you're giving me. I, the, I think the thing is, and this is what's really, again, as what, uh, uh, what I said, like, just about a minute ago. I think what Kawada is, uh, the thing that uh, Haikyuu is giving me, like, Faradati is giving me with Haikyuu, that Kawada just needs to do a little bit more with Tina Marzumo, is just the art. It, because... The way the um the thing is what uh, Furudate is doing with the art is he Furudate is just using a lot more symbolism with um with the panels um in Haikyuu compared to what uh, Kawada is doing with Hinamaru Zumo and that's why Haikyuu to me is a little bit better right now compared to um, Hinamaru Zumo um and. It's the same. It's actually the same thing with Kengen Ashura as well. Kengen Ashura does it like is another good example of utilizing the art in the panels. Oh my god! It, it especially recently. Holy shit! It's just incredible. Um, but anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, and I really want to know what you guys, if for especially you manga readers, if you guys are on my side about the anime adaptation of Hinamaru Zumo, if you guys are going to stick with it or are you guys going to drop it? Because I, I, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to try with episode two, and I'm probably going to drop it after that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Dirty Kinsane. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.